words are a bit uh, technically words are interchangeably confusingly used yeah. right okay so yes language at the age of there is something called nirvikalpa samadhi this is called something sahaja samadhi enlightenment is called sahaja samadhi sahaja samadhi natural state sahaja samadhi nirvikalpa samadhi is a temporary state hmm. okay so this guy sant gnaneshwar his brother was nivrutinath there are four four brothers yes. nivrutinath sopana mukta bai yes. gnaneshwar yes gnaneshwar is the youngest yes. okay nivrutinath got enlightened at the age of uh, must be 8 or 9 these guys are kids so sant gnaneshwar sopana mukta bai got enlightened at the age of very young age must be 4 5 6 type enlightenment is not samadhi enlightenment is beyond samadhi okay samadhi means samadhi 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 Sama means balanced state of buddhi. So, yeah, it's a temporary state of absorption. So, enlightenment means even the buddhi has dropped. You have gone beyond that. So, that attained at the age. From that age to age 16, Sant Nanishwar composed so many teachings, abhangs, for teaching. Whatever he got, he gave it back to society. At the age of 16, he said, no, nothing more to you. My job is done. Then he entered into a ground, what do you call it? dug himself and stone was placed in that he buried himself alive that's called sajiva samadhi in the common sense language sajiva samadhi he buried himself so it's nothing to do with enlightenment enlightenment is over now he said body is no longer required body discarded at that age this is what raghavendra did to himself yeah so there are raghavendra swami mantra yeah so there are at the enlightened beings the body is a vehicle for enlightenment after that whether you want to keep the body how long you want to keep the body after you give whatever you supposed to you order work you got something you give it back the vehicle is now more or no more useless the vehicle is going for maintenance this part that part is going out should i maintain the vehicle drop it so that's the samadhi there are various types of samadhi bhu samadhi bhu samadhi is enter into earth there's ragan swami mantra ragan swami and daneshwar then jala samadhi enter into water hima samadhi shankaracharya okay then uh, uh, himasamadhi is himasamadhi he went into he went into moved into that uh, uh, snow. 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 snow snow hima is snow hima snow so like that various ways they will drop the body yes. it's like vehicle is over now dispose it up yeah, the distinction between that and suicide become an important point because my grandfather did such samadhi he said okay i'm done at 92 years old and so within the family is close uh, there's this talk about hmm, Because it's very hard for people to understand that state of mind unless you come close enough to it. Right? Yeah. So people that actually patiently explain why they're going through Sajiva Samadhi, which as I'm told, is a very difficult thing physically to do because when you stop having food, water, and just meditate or lie down, for uh, eight to ten days you go through hell. It's not easy because you're fighting the system. So it becomes very difficult for people to understand why that person is doing that because they don't, they're on a different plane altogether. So in medical science is that considered a suicide or is it considered See the medical science modern day language modern okay we can't talk legality yeah. all those things we can't talk because yeah, they're, they're all cultural context so earlier days there was something called sallekhana in jainism they do sallekhana 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 okay sallekhana is a practice okay now this practice people people practice dying when they are alive in jainism 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 practice is much more alive compared to other other cultures in india what they do they do ha- fasting one day fasting two day fasting three days fasting 10 days fasting they do even buddhism meditation they have a practice i think another vipassana vipassana is not like that no no vipassana i am having a sallekana his question is about death death only death yeah. so jains have a very systematic way of living the body which is actually there in sanatan dharma culture but jains have maintained it so what they do they practice they learn they do practice fasting mm-hmm. while they are alive many days for them fasting for death is not at all difficult because they have already practiced it's already practiced okay i had one jain student the jain student uh, came and see i need your blessings a lady what for i am doing 120 days fasting Ah, ah, it's a lady. Wow, one twenty days fasting. Then you have to bless me. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
in that 120 days fasting she will take one uh, one uh, fistful of rice and water and for 120 days so what they do jains have a way of preparing for death okay right so i have given a lecture called fasting and feasting if you have time you will listen to that one and a half hour lecture okay. what is the importance of fasting so in sanatan dharma the fasting is prescribed as a way of living mm-hmm. okay it is a way of healing the disease mm-hmm. it is a way of dying also so it is a, it's a preparation for our death it's a preparation for our living fasting is a very important therapy okay so now what happens if somebody does for fasting for one day will get oh you know fasting one day it's not i had a dog okay the dog labrador dog labrador dog had a uh, liver liver uh, disease for 7 days the dog didn't take food the dog knew exactly is going to die in preparation for death animals stop food okay all animals know fasting is the way preparing for the death okay who has which classroom dog has gone right understand and the day dog died died myself and my daughter we are doing vipassana mm. in the camp we didn't know this dog is dying here mm. in my dog's my, my daughter's dream that day the dog came and said i am dying mm. okay vipassana mm. so exactly the dog died on my second daughter's birthday first daughter's birthday mm. so she, she came from vipassana first daughter, her birthday the dog died so what am i saying all animals know how to die why except human beings yeah <laughs> okay what will happen to you what will happen is the fasting is a way of preparing the body it is not difficult for a person who has it's like a running 500 meters 200 meters you run 500 meters run. okay what happens in the fasting is body sets in a process called autophagy have you heard of this Out of age. Out of age. Out of age. I thought out of age. So, actually, out of age is the best attempt for getting rid of disease in the body, including cancer. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there is a ch- cancer, a very likely chance that you will get out of cancer. If you don't get out of cancer, at least you die peacefully in cancer. Ah. Okay. Okay. So that way, it is a solution. It's not a problem. So now, when he says his grandfather uh, died that way. it is not sajeev samadhi it's called sallekana it's called sallekana sallekana is a process sajeev samadhi is a different process sajeev samadhi is the person he is sitting in meditative posture people close the uh, he is sitting in a ground close the pit okay and he oh. dies there okay. he stop taking breath and uh, whereas sallekana they will stop taking food hmm. okay okay so now a person who has prepared his life properly with fasting monday fasting shivaratri fasting and finally fasting for couple of days for him death is just a welcome so now what happens in the when you do fasting and die okay you will be fully aware of the death process if you are aware of the death process it's a called conscious death if you die consciously you will not be reborn again wow. it's a freedom from the death it's an enlightenment process itself the last opportunity to get enlightened is death oh so you mean people who die when they are consciously. aware even if they are in a hospital if they no no that's a different thing whether people it all depends because sometimes people say okay this is my no no i am saying uh, uh, let us uh, there's a slightly different topic okay this sallekana is a process of conscious death if you die consciously embracing death without fighting with the death understand the death process what's happening within you you die it's called conscious death conscious death is the best good opportunity for you to get liberated mm-hmm. at last opportunity mm-hmm. if you don't get liberated earlier yeah. jiva mukti so the notion of body separation is there ah. the notion of distance no, the because, body and the mind yeah, because so jaymur the the because jaymur perita when he died my mm-hmm. uncle died when he was 86 so at that time my cousin still tells me for whatever reason maybe that connection or empathy she lived only four streets away that night she decided to spend with my uncle and my aunt and then she was and she decided to sleep in the same room he was not doing well but she said no today i'm up i'm going to sleep with you and then around like because the, somewhere in the middle of the night she heard him call out and she asked her what happened what happened she said no ganesh ji is calling me and i want to go to my mangudi yeah. player mangudi player is calling me yeah. and that was the last thing he said 
half an hour later she thought something felt different and she checked he was gone yeah so that's actually the death death process of death itself has varieties sallekana is a consciously embracing death what your what happened in the case of grandfather he was dying out of old age right. at the time of old age he remembered his ishta devata yes okay so that's called that is a accepting conscious death here death happened naturally at that time he merged with the, he went to ishta devata loka right he said yeah pulya ganesh ji ganesh ji called he went to ishta devata loka that's one way of death so that's not liberation that's going to another another loka okay right if or see liberation doesn't happen somebody just does the fasting and dies it doesn't liberation doesn't happen it requires study understanding self awareness spiritual practice that death will liberation otherwise it will be just natural another death exactly okay right. understand this is spiritual death i am speaking of that means somebody has understood what spiritual life i am the atma okay yes then he become free okay okay, okay. osho okay yeah. osho when he was born yeah. for 9 days he didn't drink the milk of the mother okay so then people ask why didn't you drink the milk of the mother he is a planet so then he said in my last life i was a buddhist monk i took 30 days of fasting i died on 21st day so i have done nine more days nine more days completion i have done so basically <laughs> but he was born with the memory of his previous okay so this are all what i'm saying is this is a process of in raising in awareness so i don't know about your grandfather what level of awareness what level of uh, wisdom he had that's a different subject but i i got thinking about the dalai lama process as well which is very unique in the way right selection of a young child